there boys and girls welcome back to the channel welcome back to the sir alex ferguson save now today we bring you a massive massive episode both legs of the champions league semi-final against united we go away to old trafford first hopefully get uh, an away goal or two and then we go back to st james's park and hopefully finish off the job there the other semi-final has taken place already into beating barca 1-0 pedrinho uh scoring a goal there so bits are getting sent off so not a clear cut uh open uh game there against inter and barca and hopefully um we play inter rather than barca if we get through to the final of the champions league before we get into it as always if you are enjoying the series and enjoying the episode so far hit that thumbs up button down below while you're there make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new around here or if you're just enjoying what you see and then finally tick that little bell icon so you're notified every time a video goes live let's get into it let's go to old trafford this is going to be the lineup that goes i'm taking a risk with rakivic he's uh, back into full fitness or full training in a couple of days but uh, I'm going to risk him in goal against United. I've got Brawny on the bench if we need to bring him on. Dodo on the right. Pocone, Zagadou, Belau, the back line. Teixeira, Larrison in the middle of midfield. Mbolo on the right. Marin on the left. Teresiano in behind. Uh, Aldolfo on the bench. Broughton, as I said. Bastoni, Cook, Maya, Keane, Perry and Fetiarp still working his way back up to full fitness. Let's see what United have got to bring against us in this first leg. So United lining up with a very defensive 4-1-4-1 in this first leg. De Gea still in goal for them. Dallo at right back. Upamecano and Pavard are the back two with uh, Esgueta at left back. Uh, Neres in front of him, in front of the back four, uh, just giving a little bit more protection. Uh, Dude on the right. Uh, Jose Victor on the left with Pogba and Milinkovic Savic in uh, in the middle of midfield. And then Maracardi up top. Ruben Diaz, Mamana, Lukaku, uh, Kavla Kante, uh, Pablo Sozar, and Lancaster all on the bench. So a little bit more defensive from United than I was expecting in this first leg. We go 4 2 3 1. Let's get into it. De Gea with a goal kick. Goes short to Pavard. Two minutes on the clock. And we close him down really well there from Larris. And they go long. And Zagadou should knock that down to Teixeira. And uh, good play from the uh, from the two players there. Tadassiano coming over in this left-hand side. But has to go back to that metronome. Teixeira in the middle. Tadassiano back to Teixeira again. Lovely switch out to Dodo in on that right-hand side. And Polo switches that ball into the back post. And Aldolfo with a great effort. But it's a great save from David De Gea and I think the Brazilian was uh, offside and that is half time Aldolfo offside chance the only chance of that first half very cagey affair between the two sides that know each other so well from lots of games in the Premier League and also cup competitions as well a little bit uh, more go of us going forward uh, that 4-1-4-1 defensive shape um, making United very hard to break down we're going to get into the uh, going to get into the team talk and just say um what am I going to say? It's very tough. I'm just going to say uh, it's time for everyone to dig in, give everything you've got tonight, and then keep that passionately saying you weren't that bad. You've got a lot to improve. Go out there and do the business in this second half. We do have changes to make from the bench if we need to. Fingers crossed we can break down this United side. Jose Victor with a free kick. Going to swing that into the back post. And Rakovic needs to uh, tip that ball over. And Bolo actually got the header on. It was going to the top corner. But good save by Rakovic. Jose Victor swings that ball in. And he comes out and claims relatively comfortably. We've gone a little bit more positive. See if we can get this away goal in the final 10 minutes. Jose Victor, corner again, in swinger. Can he find Pogba at the back post? He can. Dodo off the line. Now Fetiart one-on-one -on -one with Diego Dallo. He also has help there at the uh, at the back, but it's a good tackle from the young Portuguese fullback, and uh, he gets the ball out for a throw-in. Teixeira, with about six minutes left, goes back to Pocconi. Lovely ball over the top to Dodo. Into the back post. Keynes there, comes off the post, and it's uh, been well and truly cleared by the United back line come really really close into scoring over the last two or three minutes in game and that is going to be it full time whistle goes United nil Newcastle nil very even affair very cagey affair no away goal for us which could come back to bite us in the second leg uh, and we go to that second leg now at St James's Park and we need a fair few goals after that first leg disappointment nil nil away at Old Trafford we come to St James's Park and hopefully hopefully get 
the job done and go into another Champions League final. This is the lineup. Rakovic in goal. Dodo, Pocone, Zagadou and Balau, the back line. Rakovic now fully fit for this one, so fingers crossed he'll be able to get through the uh, the whole match. Teixeira Lauritsen in the middle of midfield. Mbolo and Marin on the wings, both as attack options, just to get a little bit more support up to Aldolfo at the top. Teresiano in behind uh, the striker there. Uh, Bastoni, Cook, Maya, Keane, Perry, Madison and Fetiarp all on the bench. Fingers crossed, let's go and see if we can beat United. The line up with a 4-1-4-1 again. De Gea in goal. Uh, Paolo Cesar at right back. And Dallo's just switched over to left back. Pavard and Upamecano in the middle. Dallo at left back. Neves in front of that back four again. Uh, Sterling comes in on that left-hand side for, I think it was Jose Victor who was out there uh, in the first leg. Pogba, Mil Milinkovic, Savage and uh, Dude are the um, midfield four. And then Incardi up top. Uh, Ruben Diaz, uh, Jose Victor on the bench now. Lukaku comes in. Cavalo Kante is on the bench as well. So very attacking bench here. Mamana and also Lancaster. Fingers crossed. Leg two of the Champions League semi-final. Let's go get it. Highlight for United. Seven minutes in. Neves. Ball quite deep into Pogba. Being pressed really well, though, by the midfield three. Out to Dude on this right-hand side. We are pressing him. Dodo gets the ball clear. Lawrenson only as far as Sterling, but a good block again by the Danish midfielder. Now Mbolo on the counter-attack, but good tackle from uh, from Ruben Neves. And they get the ball forward to Milinkovic-Savic. Out to Dude on this right-hand side. Cuts inside, goes for goal. And Rakovic is behind that one, but a good Good start from both teams. Corner, Marin in swinger. Can he find a black and white shirt? Yes, he can. Brilian Bolo with an emphatic finish from that corner. 16 minutes gone. Newcastle 1, United 0. What a in-swinging corner this is from Marin. And a free header from Mbolo rises and just puts that away into the top right-hand corner. 1-0 Newcastle. Porcone about 6 Five, six minutes after we've scored this first goal. Teixeira now on the uh, lovely, trying to find a lovely ball through to Marin, but a little bit too heavy. And De Gea comes out and claims. And De Gea goes short to Upamecano and go, they go long this time, but Rakibic is going to uh, get that relatively comfortably. No one really pressing him until now. And then he picks up the uh, the ball. He then goes left to Belau. Driving forward on that left-hand side. Can he find a black and white shirt? And Bolo's there. Nodding on to Adolfo. He's in on goal. Adolfo scores. That's his 20th goal of the season. Lovely assist from Brilliant Bolo. I think De Gea was in a little bit of uh, no man's land there. He didn't know whether to come or go. And uh, Adolfo punished him there. Lovely drive from Belau at left back. Lovely header on from Bolo. And this is where it's just stuck. Whether to come or go, David De Gea he should have, uh, probably should have come out. Adolfo puts it in. 2-0 Newcastle. Hello, throws the ball in, trying to find uh, Raheem Sterling. They do get the ball out to Milinkovic Savage into Dude now. Good press from uh, the two Newcastle players there. Pogba into Savage, into Dude. Good quick football this from United. Raheem Sterling goes for goal and shoots over. They did have Dallow on that left hand side, but didn't use him. And uh, it's a goal kick. We go short to Zagadu, back to Rakovic. And this time we find Balao at left back. Good play from the boys. A little bit of carbon copy of the goal against uh, the second goal for us. Mbolo drives in, goes for goal this time himself. And it's 3 0 Newcastle. It's a half an hour of football and we've just destroyed. Man United, a little bit of a carbon copy of the second goal, but this time Mbolo took the chance himself. Lovely run again from Belau. Good ball through to Mbolo. Great chest down. I thought the angle a little bit too narrow, but he puts that ball past De Gea. 3 0 Newcastle. Teleciano picked up a little bit of a knock there. Uh, 10 minutes to go in this first half. We'll just do a straight swap. Madison comes on for the Italian uh, midfielder there, uh, and that should see us through to half time. 3 0. Just told the guys at halftime not to get complacent. Uh, the team like United, with the quality they've got, can turn this game around and say, with that away goal rule, could make all the difference. But we come again in this uh, the start of this second half. Belau driving forward on that left hand side. United haven't got a chance to, haven't got a way to stop him down that left hand side. He's been brilliant out of the German left back and Ruben Neves taking uh, just taking a foul to uh, stop him. Really, to be fair, an eight point zero. For Bilal there, playing fantastic football from left back. Madison tackling Icardi and we keep the ball. Pass the ball around. We go out to Bilal left back. He is our outlet at the minute. And uh, is he going to get the ball forward? No, goes back to Zagadu. Nice little triangles here from the, uh, from the Newcastle boys. And we're about... 
nearly 10 minutes into this second half and we do get out away from that dangerous dangerous way and uh, Aldolfo through on goal can he score a second no he tried to dink De Gea but not enough on it Pogba free kick hour mark goes for goal hits the post and Larison is going to get that ball clear as I said only takes a couple of goals for United to get back into this and uh, we need to stay strong Sterling now he goes short to Ruben Neves Larison really pressing him and they have to go all the way back to Pavard on the halfway line Pavard now being pressed by Aldolfo and Larison he has not he's not stopped the Danish uh, Danish midfielder they go long but Balau fantastic uh, game for us so far today Marin loose pass on that one and United get control Control back. Pavard back to his uh, defensive partner. They go out to Dude on the right hand side. He cuts inside, goes for a lovely switch out to Raheem Sterling. Can he get the ball in? No, Dodo's pressing him. He does get the ball in. Marin gets the ball only half clear. Goes to Dude and he scores his second goal of the season. And uh, United back into this one. 3 1 now. I thought uh, Dodo did enough here to uh, get the tackle on Sterling. He turned him. Lovely ball in. Marin only cleared the ball half away. Dude, lovely control, finished it top right hand corner. 3 1 now. Sterling, about a minute left. Are they going to make this uh, ending a little bit more nervy? Sterling again gets that ball back. It was a poor cross, really, to be fair. We dealt with the free kick relatively well. Pogba goes for goal and straight down the throat of Rakivic. First half an hour really did uh, set the uh, stage for us in this one. United came back in this second half with a goal from Dude, but not done enough in this second half to uh, to really trouble us at all. Only three shots on target from nine total shots, all coming from long as well. Five shots long um, are the statistics, and that is it. Full-time whistle goes. Newcastle 3, United 1. We go through to another Champions League final, but who will we play? So it looks like we will play into Milan. It was a one-all draw on aggregate and uh, went all the way to extra time and then all the way to penalties. And Inter Milan are going to uh, going to win that one on penalties. It was a horrendous penalty shootout. 3-2 uh, to Inter. Loads of penalties missed. And uh, we will play the Italians. We will play the likes of... Uh, Komen, Kingsley Komen's there, Maicon, Fabiano, Suarez, uh, Markovic, Odria Zola, fantastic players, Origi's there, Brozovic is still there, De Vrij, fantastic players at Inter still, and uh, we will play the Italians, that will be the next episode, we're going to bring you the two finals, United at Wembley, that's going to be a huge one, can they get any, any sort of redemption for us knocking them out of the Champions League, and then we go to the Champions League final, not entirely sure where that actually is. Are we going to be playing it in Greece? So we go to Greece and we play the final of the Champions League against Inter Milan. Two massive games coming for you at the end of Season 7. And uh, yeah, if we win both of those, that is it. Challenge is done and dusted. I'm going to have to think of something else to do uh, from now until FM20. But that is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Oh, you've just not done it yet. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there liking it. And then tick that notification bell so you're notified every time a video goes live. And until tomorrow, two finals coming for you. FA Cup final against United and Inter in the Champions League final. Will the challenge end? You have to come back and find out. I'll see you soon.